Hey guys, it's Rebecca Herberstadt, and during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I picked up some new samples of products to try. Um, I'm, all, I'm running out of my acne skincare, and last month I did test out some new uh, face washes and stuff, but the sample sizes were not enough to get me through an entire month to review it. So since April 1st, I have been using this Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. It says it helps visibly brighten with glycolic acid and fruit extracts for all skin types. So this is the product that I got. It was like $15 or $16, but there's plenty of product in here. And as you can see, I have been using it every day. And we are, was it the 12th, 10th, 11th, 12th? I, heck, I don't even know what day it is. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands really quick before I touch my face. I do have water running in the sink on a washcloth because water takes forever to get hot down here in my bathroom. Go ahead and get my face wet. And I always get my hair wet so that it kind of stays out of the way a little bit better. So I usually pour out about a quarter size amount. That's a little too much. And I like that I can just kind of scoop it back in. So there's the product on my hands and I usually try and stick it on my fingertips instead of in the palm of my hand. It has kind of like a orange, it smells kind of like an orange citrus smell, kind of more like a tangerine. or even a clementine. It's like a citrus smell that's kind of sweet. And I have noticed that the acne that I had coming up on my chin, I had like one here, one here, one there, one here is healing. All of this, I had breakouts all through here and around here. Got one in my hairline from a product. My forehead was all broken out in here. I've got one that's healing right here, but I had all these like spots everywhere, all along in here, right here, here, here. My nose was all broken out. And I had used a product last month that I was allergic to, had a bad reaction to it, and it. I was putting like treatment ointments on it, trying to get it to heal up. And it's like every time I got one to heal up, three more would crop up right near where the other breakouts were. So I was a little frustrated. So I was glad to see, like after the second time using this, that the breakouts were like healing. And I do go through my eyebrows because I do get eyebrow hairs that grow in funny and I get breakouts like right in here on my eyebrows. It's the weirdest thing and right here at the very front of my eyebrows. So I always make sure I get cleanser on that. And I go as close to my eye as possible with this without, I usually go right up here and I do above my lid, like where my crease is and up. I don't go like right in here I can get away with, but I stay away from the inner corner of my eye. But I also get right here on my nose where my glasses hit. You can see where my glasses marks are because I get breakouts in there. And I usually massage it until it starts to like give me resistance, like right now, which means it's like drying down. And I do my neck as well, because I do get like, I don't even know what that red mark is. But I get breakouts all along my chin and under here, because when I sit at my desk, I sit like this or like this. I even sleep like this at times. So I know I get breakouts in different spots on my face, but I work it until, um, like I said, it's really resistant on my skin. I'll put the lid back on really quick. But I've been using this twice a day for what, 12 days now. And this is how much I've used. And like I said, I use a quarter size amount every time I use it. So that bottle, that little bottle is gonna last me a while. And I ended up, I forgot I had um, ordered that one and like the next day or the day after I went ahead and ordered it again. So I have two of them. I also got the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Green. I have, I have two of those. 
So I ended up getting duplicates of like two products, maybe three products. Yeah, three products I have duplicates of. And it was those buy three, get one free sample things from um, Ulta. And I know some people don't like using a washcloth because it's too abrasive on their skin. I do have very sensitive dry skin. But it, I feel that it exfoliates my face a little bit better. Helps with my breakouts. I do have a muslin cloth that I got with another face wash. I don't even know where the heck it is right now. It was over here. But, um, oh, I put it in the drawer. But I haven't used it yet. And from my understanding from working with muslin for sewing, muslin feels rougher on my skin than terry cloth, which is what this is. Okay, now that I've got majority of it off my face, I then get it wet again and I go back over it again with the washcloth. And it leaves my face feeling nice and clean. I really like how it works on my skin. It occasionally when I have, uh, like when this breakout came out, um, it burned a little bit on my face, which again, it's, a, it's an irritated spot on my skin, so I can expect that. And like my forehead area where I had breakouts, I can expect those spots to like burn a little bit because any face wash that I have used, any, and I mean any or all face washes that I've ever used in my life have always caused certain spots on my face to burn. I even have the sensitive skin, my um, micellar water, and that even burns my skin. So the fact that it only like burns or tingles just a little bit is kind of nice because it doesn't make my entire face feel like I just got hit in the face with a flamethrower. I have moisturizers that I have put on that I've tried to test out and it literally feels like somebody just set my face on fire. But I like how this is a nice, I feel nice and clean after it. My face doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel like some cleansers when you use them, it makes your face feel tight or itchy. This doesn't do that. Um, it doesn't like leave my face feel squeaky. It just, my, actually my face feels softer after using it than it does before, which is, is kind of nice. Now, right now my face is a little tacky and if you don't like that, then take your water and just splash your face. And then to get the extra water off my face, I just kind of dab it with my washcloth. Instead of rub, I just kind of pat. Which you're not technically supposed to like rub your face with anything. You're always supposed to pat it because supposedly rubbing your face makes wrinkles appear but I have severe dryness on my face a lot of times, so rubbing it with a washcloth kind of exfoliates those areas and, and pulls off the dry skin, so I, I break all the beauty rules, I guess you could claim. So that's my new face wash routine. I really like this stuff. I mean, really like it. And on the back it says, for daily use or as often as needed, for external use only, contain salicylic acid as an exfoliant. Sunburn alert. This product contains an alpha hydroxy acid, which is an AHA, that may increase your sun skin sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of, a of sunburn. Use a sunscreen, wear protective clothing, and limit sun exposure while using this product for a week afterwards. And I don't go outside very much, so I don't have a whole lot of sun exposure. So that's actually a really good thing to put on a product, especially letting people know that it's got, um, you know, salicylic acid and alpha hydroxy. And there's a little tab that you can pull on it and it opens up the ingredients and stuff on it 
And this does have sulfates in it, but I'm not really worried about that. Actually, it says it's got grapefruit extract, peach extract, lime, lemon, all extracts. So maybe the combination of the lime, the lemon, and the grapefruit gives it that citrusy smell. Because, I mean, they are technically citrus fruits. So anyways, I'm Rebecca Oberset. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I do have pictures that I took before I started taking or started using this product and my whole face is basically broken out. Um, I will show you what my face looks like right now. Up close, you can see where all the breakouts were because my face is like, there's some spots that are still healing. You can see scarring from where I had breakouts. I mean, my face was, was really, was really bad. My, even my forehead was all broke out. My whole nose, I had breakouts all on my nose. Like these are all scars on my nose from breakouts that I had. My whole forehead, these are all like, there's like nothing there now, but they're all like scarring or spots that are going down from that product that I used that I was allergic to. I really do think that the, this product is helping my face um, heal up from all these breakouts. Now granted, I did have quite a few like of these like lines under my eyes that I've, I've had for years. And I have problems with lines over my eyes. And of course, you know, your typical expression marks on your forehead. And I even had like deep furrows here that were starting to come that are starting to like go away from using this product that I noticed. So I really like that fact. And it has lightened up my under eye circles. So I really like that fact. Now this eye's always been darker than the other one. But if you notice, this whole area used to be purple and it's like kind of green in the center now. And it's just, there's even like a spot in here where it's not as purple. Same thing with this. This used to be purple all the way up to my inner tear duct and purple all the way out to here. And it's slowly, you can see where it's slowly starting to go away. And I really like that fact. And again, this side, you know, of course I've got, that's where the bottom of my eye is. And I've got a mole right there. But I mean, all the little fine lines that were under my eyes are completely gone. So I'm really liking how this product is working. You know, if only it could shrink this thing, shrink it down about an inch and a half. Be a cute little nose down to here, but instead I've got this. I can see how shiny my nose is now. My face is all nice and clean. Even the tip of my nose is shiny. Who needs highlighter when your nose actually is shiny? <laughs> Naturally. Anyways, I'm Rebecca Oberstadt. Hopefully you like this video. Um, I'm going to continue to use this product because it really does work for my skin and I really like it. Um, if you want to do, if you want to see a new like full skincare review of everything new that I'm trying between the face wash, the toner, the moisturizer, the under eye cream, I've got a bunch of new stuff that I got that I'm trying out that I've been testing since the 1st of April. Um, let me know and I will do a video on it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your friends. If you're not already a subscriber and you would like to be, then click the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.